In our previous GraphQL episode, we looked at using the GraphQL to manipulate and add records to our database. We also looked at being able to return records. And over on the right hand side, we can see that all the records are returned as an array and it's under the namespace data. And then in our case, all users, because that's what we had declared over here in our query. And in this episode, we want to look at refactoring some of the GraphQL stuff because once our application grows and the API grows, even though GraphQL makes it fairly manageable to work with these things, the mutations and the queries can just start to get out of control. With GraphQL, the mutation types and the query types seem to be a dumping ground for most of the logic. And while that's not a big deal if you don't have too many models to work with, it does get to be a much bigger issue if you have hundreds of models that you are going to be exposing to this API. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.